So I've made a few videos now mentioning this thing called programmatic SEO, which I heard about because of this French guy that you may have seen on Twitter. Can project made a million dollars. And it turns out that monetization is the hard part, not traffic. In that first experiment that we set up in this video, that website got over 10,000 clicks in a few months for free. But the problem wasn't that traffic, it was making money from the traffic. So that got me thinking, what if we didn't have to monetize? What if the traffic itself was valuable? Now Google AdSense pays anywhere from 20 cents up to a few dollars per thousand website visitors, which isn't great compared to here on YouTube where videos and channels in the finance and business and entrepreneurship niche like mine make anywhere from $5 up to, in a few cases, a few hundred dollars per 1,000 website viewers. And not only that, but people who subscribe go and watch more of your videos and contribute more to revenue over time. So in some YouTube traffic, just traffic, is intrinsically much more valuable than visitors and traffic to a website. So that brings us to the question for this video, which to my knowledge, no one else has ever explored. Can we use programmatic SEO to hack YouTube growth. So first we need a website. Also, this is me from the future and I didn't explain this very well, but basically we're going to naturally insert a YouTube video into the website so that when people go and visit the website that translates hopefully into YouTube views and subscribers. I'll explain it more in a second. With that said, let's get back to it. And that means we need an idea for a website and I need something engaging with a lot of data and so for school recently, I just wrote this thing about stocks where I used this website to get a list of the tickers for all the US public companies. And then I fed those tickers into this script, which extracted financial information about the companies using the Yahoo Finance API. So instead of grabbing just a few pieces of information about the companies, what if we expanded that to scrape all of the information we can get about these companies and then displayed that in a creative and engaging way for our website viewers. Now, whether or not that was a good idea, I went for it. And so I went to my domain sugar daddy and of course all the good ones were taken, but stockfinancials.org was available. So I bought that, then went over to Bubble, copied a template into a website and set up a bunch of DNS A records to hook up stockfinancials.org. So then I went and took the old script and expanded it to get every financial metric we can and it works but it works so annoyingly slowly that I pulled out a Celsius and chat GPT and tried some wizardry to speed it up and then got rate limited or banned or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's really bad because Yahoo Finance was the only data source we had. So I went and did some Googling and found this website called FMP that has all the data we need. The problem is it also caps you out at five requests per limit times eight calls per 5,000 companies is 8,000 minutes or five and a half days that this script would take at five requests per minute. <laughs> so I just had to upgrade and then we went from five to 300, which is good to say the least. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. Let's just boot this up in terminal and now we wait. Now, while this script is processing over 5,000 companies, I want to show you something that can make you more money by helping you spend less. This is Insurify, the leading insurance comparison platform that has saved 44 million in annual premiums for its users. For over 10 years, they have helped people like you and me easily and quickly compare quotes to find the best price on auto, home, renters, and pet insurance. They do that with their proprietary in-depth scoring process, in-house insurance experts, and a whole lot more. If you're looking for a new insurance policy or to make sure you're not currently overpaying, make sure to head over to insurify.com or the link in the description to compare quotes and start saving now. That said, thanks to Insurify for partnering on this video and also thanks to them for making quote comparisons so easy. And that said, let's go see how the script is doing. Unfortunately, in the time it took me to read that ad, it had processed not even 1% of all of our companies. And so I waited and waited and waited. And finally, after a solid eight hours, we are done. And all that beautiful data looks like this. So then I went and set up this data type in bubble and imported our data into a spreadsheet and matched the column heading to the data type fields. Then it's one single import and all that data is in our 
website. Now I needed to run one background workflow which sets the slug or basically the page URL to be the ticker symbol of the stock. Now this is what is so cool about programmatic SEO. We can just set up one page and reference a data field like a company name or company revenue and then when we go to that page on Google and enter the slug, the page gets dynamically filled with the information already loaded and stored in our database. So this one page template is equivalent to over 5,000 pages of quality content if we have 5,000 entries in our database. So then I went and edited a bunch of the website and set up that page template. So I'm including all types of metrics like this and referencing the correct data field for each. And then I had to set up a home or a landing page. So for, for people who wanna click around the website, which helps for SEO ranking, and also a search page that functions like this. Now, this is the important part as it relates to YouTube. I want a video of mine that's about stocks to fit with the website. So I went to my channel and picked this one, and then I inserted that video right above the financial information. That means users who come to this page can see the video and choose to watch it, and that is how, hopefully, we can get a ton of views and subscribers and traffic directly from this SEO-driven website. So the website is looking pretty good now, and that means it's time to submit the page data to Google. To do that, we can go to Google Search Console and connect our domain. Then we head back into Bubble, export all of our slug data, match it up in sheets with the top level and page domain parts, and the proper sitemap format. Then export that into this XML sitemap template, export the template, upload it to the root domain in Bubble, and now when we go to stockfinancials.org forward slash sitemap.xml, we see the sitemap that we just created. So now we can head to GSC and input that link, and boom, Google will index our 5,000 pages. So it all works and it's good to go, but it will take some time for Google to properly index all of our pages and to start showing them to users. So I'll let this experiment run its course and report back in a few weeks, either or likely both on community posts and in a full length video just like this. And then we'll see if the experiment worked. So if the website traffic translates into views on the video and engagement like subscribers and watch time. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to see that second video, and we are on route to 1 million subscribers this year. And finally, again, make sure to head over to insurify.com to get the best possible insurance quotes and prices. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.